WCTV Pinpoint Weather with meteorologist Rob Nucatola. Hello and happy Friday, everybody. 24 hour temperature cast. Doesn't look like what we should see in October with these mid 70s to start and mid to upper 80s this afternoon and more mid 70s tomorrow. We should be near 60 to start and highs around 80. But instead, we got a lot of warm and a lot of muggy coming our way. Very soupy outside and it's not going to change. On the radar, I see a little bit of activity. A couple of sprinkles north of Bainbridge, maybe north of Climax, moving to the north. Highway 84 from Cairo to Climax, a little bit on the soggy side. I see a few showers south of Thomasville on Highway 319 and Highway 19, both. And a more activity in northern parts of Madison County, trying to lift from I-10 towards the state line. So we've got some showers this morning. We'll probably find a few more developing later on. Of course, the big showers are way out here to the west. That's where the hurricane is. And in case you're wondering, Cameron, Louisiana is about 600 miles from Tallahassee. We're not going to get any direct impacts of where this storm is headed, but I think we can get some elevated chances for showers as we go through maybe our Saturday, Sunday. Some of that wraparound moisture moves around what's left of the hurricane once it's well inland and continuing to move north. For us, for today, it's a continuation of the very warm and humid that we've been having. 76 to get started in Tallahassee, 75 in Valdosta. We're at 72 in Thomasville. I mean, look at all those 75s. Wakulla High School checking in at 79 this morning. So it's pretty much mid 70s and up across the board. I don't see a lot of fog yet. I think some more fog will form over the next hour, hour and a half. The sun doesn't come up till after 730, by the way. The hurricane is still impressive and it's still moving north. There's a whole bunch of moisture out ahead of it, and they're going to start getting that rain against coastal Louisiana this morning, and it's going to continue all day over there, and that's why they're going to get three to six to nine inches worth of rain from the system, even the system moving as quickly as it is. For us, scattered showers, thanks to the sea breezes, probably the most we're going to get today, and then you can see it's whatever's left of the storm moves north. That trailing edge of moisture should be enough to hold together and give us a couple of extra chances. Now, out here on the satellite, this looked much more impressive yesterday than it did today. As we look at it this morning, I don't see that eye anymore that we finally started to see a little bit yesterday, but you can see all that rain on radar making its way up towards the coast and a whole bunch already inland. We're going to continue to watch this storm get closer and closer to land. Currently a category three storm with winds at 120 miles per hour. After we get past lunchtime today, now we expect things to really deteriorate for Louisiana. Then by supper time tonight and overtime tonight, that's when we expect to see this guy haul off to the north as it does. It'll take those worst weather conditions with it. All the while those staying well west of New Orleans and nowhere near our area on the Gulf today. Winds out of the east and southeast 10 to 20 seas 2 to 4 feet. We've got high tides wrapping up right around sunrise about 735 this morning. I think 70s are going to become 80s quickly. I'm going to put those rain chances around 50 or 60% for today for tomorrow. Lots of clouds, lots of humidity, some showers. Mid 70s tonight and over the next couple of days, it's going to be more about the same. 70s in the morning, 80s to near 90 in the afternoon. Hopefully we start drying out, guys, on Monday. And maybe it won't be too long after that we can cool back off. All right, thanks so much, uh, 